Hey guys, how's it going? I'm the Happy Mad Scientist, and in this video I'm going to show you how I turn these old used shotgun shells, 12 gauge to be exact, with a little with a little help of some homemade black powder rocket fuel. I got a jar of it here, and I'll turn them into black powder rockets, hopefully with similar performance to these SD's B6 rocket engines. Let's get started. So the black powder rocket fuel I'm using in this video is just a simple mix of potassium nitrate, carbon, and sulfur, both of which these two I made in the last two videos, and uh, dextrin, which is really easy to make. You just put some cornstarch in the oven for a couple hours until it turns this like golden brown, and uh, yeah. So you have four materials here. The dextrin is a binder, by the way. And uh, you mix it with water until it's like a paste or kind of a, a liquid, and uh, after that, you let it dry out for a couple days. Very carefully dry it out. So, you know, let it dry out in the open for a couple days. And uh, I ended up with this crusty black powder that really does burn quite fast. You can see it propelled itself around the piece of plywood there. So it, it burns pretty good. I would say that's very nice rocket fuel. Now a note here, using this black powder in a big rocket, like if you want to use something bigger than a shotgun shell, would be very, very dangerous. It would not be good. So the classic, you know, sugar rocket, where you have sugar and potassium nitrate, that would be better for bigger rockets. Although you still have to be very careful, because if it builds up pressure, it will end up like this. Yeah, yeah, not a good idea. So to fit as much fuel as I possibly can into this shotgun shell, I have to, you know, fill it, and then I have to ram it down with like something like a wooden dowel and a mallet until it's really hard packed. Now, that fits a lot more fuel in, but what it does is it makes it so it, ha so it burns a lot slower. So to counteract that, I need to drill a small core down the middle of the rocket, which allows it to burn from the inside out rather than from end to end. That, that is necessary if I don't have a nozzle. A nozzle is something that you put in a rocket engine to constrict the flow, kind of, and uh, make the gases move a lot faster in order to create more lift. And it also builds a pressure which will help the powder to burn faster. And using a core and a nozzle at the same time will be only necessary if you don't have a very powerful rocket fuel. However, I don't think I will need to put a core and a nozzle on this at the same time. It could be either or, but if they don't work, it will be both end. So just jamming the rocket fuel in this casing will not lift it off the ground. If I light it at the bottom and it uh, burns to the top, it'll just burn and melt the casing.
Okay, so that was mildly successful. It went about 10 to 15 feet in the air, not as not near as good as I wanted it to. So I think I'm going to have to drill out the primer and make a nozzle or um, take some kitty litter and uh, pound it down like I did the gunpowder and drill a hole in that to make a nozzle out of that. But uh, otherwise it, it burnt pretty good. So I had said that uh, I was gonna either do a nozzle or a core, and probably not both of them at the same time, but uh, looking at that last rocket, I think I am gonna do both at the same time, uh, just because I want to have as much power as quick as possible coming out of this rocket. So on this next one here, I'm going to do the exact same thing except I'm just going to put it on a longer stick and see if that does anything. One thing I noticed is that this black powder smells like manure, like cow and chicken manure and stuff like that. Ugh, it smells nasty. All right, here we go, we got the third rocket all done. Uh, the only thing I've changed this time is made a longer and thicker, a little bit thicker and heavier stick. Very nice. That is, that was perfect. So what I'm gonna do now is, um, I'm actually gonna use three quarter inch PVC pipe as the, the rocket engine and cut off the brass here and uh, like like this here and then what you can do what that allows you to do is be able to put it into the PVC pipe very tight fit now if this builds up too much pressure since I don't have the brass glued into there Instead of shattering the PVC when it builds up a lot of pressure, it'll just pop the end cap off and it'll be fine. Whereas if I glued it on there and it built up too much pressure, it could... Which would not be good. So, having, having these just pressure fitted into there, into the PVC, is a good thing. And I also can make much bigger rockets out of the PVC Whereas the shells, I'm just limited to a little tiny bit there. So the plan is, cut this at, you know, a couple, four inches or so, place an end cap on each end after I filled it with gunpowder, poke the primer out of one, and then I'm good to go. Okay, so that didn't go as planned. What went wrong here, I think, was uh, I actually had an air pocket in up here where the top of the second cap was. And what I thought that was gonna do was make a pop when it got to the end of its, you know, when it got to the top. But what actually happened was, is I must have made the core all the way through into that air pocket. And, uh, yes. <laughs> and, the it just was too much pressure it popped the top off which is exactly what i want to happen if it builds up too much pressure just pop the caps off the bottom one stayed on fine but it was just that air pocket that uh popped the top off and the top is gone it went really really high up in the air so i guess next time i'll make sure that i you know put some hot glue in there to keep the air pocket from keeping the air pocket from being there because I can't really compress the powder once it gets to the very top. Like I can't hammer it down much anymore. 
So I guess I'll make some more powder. I'm out of powder right now and I'll make some more and try this again. But the PVC uh, actually held up nicely. But yeah, I guess I'll get to the next rocket. All right, here it goes. Black powder rocket. Oh. Hang on, it'll pop at the top. Okay, so this is my last attempt at the PVC black powder rocket. Remember, I did have uh, a successful launch with just a shotgun shell. But uh, yeah, the core uh, is going all the way through to about here. And then I had ran out of black powder, so about right here, it's some loosely packed sugar rocket fuel. So yeah, I believe this one is going to go high. I have this uh, plug down here with hot glue so it can build up some pressure before it will pop this out and hopefully go uh, sky high. All right, this is a cord black powder rocket. Final attempt. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> All right, so this one was borderline successful. It went up probably 80 feet, and the reason it didn't go any higher, and you heard the loud pop, is because it built up too much pressure, it was too loosely packed, it had a core going through it, so it's basically the opposite of my last one. So it built up way too much pressure, it just popped off the end cap, which was good, rather than exploding. But uh, that's why it didn't go extremely high, so the conclusion I've come to is PVC, the, uh, the bigger rockets with the PVC, they're a lot more finicky. I mean, they could go a lot higher than you know, shotgun shells, but they are so much more finicky. It really takes the fun out of making them. But yeah, these are by far the easiest rockets to make. So just to let you know, messing with black powder can be very, very dangerous. Making it and igniting it is just dangerous, all right? I wouldn't recommend replicating anything you've seen in the video just because it is very dangerous. I have a couple years worth of experience making these rockets and uh, I know enough to tell you that it's not safe and these rockets can be uh, extremely unpredictable. Um, so yeah, don't try this at home. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for Really cool stuff coming up. I have a lot of stuff planned. Hope to see you again soon. See you later.